In this lesson, we are going to install IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition from a zip file without any installer. Search in Google for download IntelliJ IDEA, press enter. Go to this JetBrains website, download IntelliJ IDEA, this first link. Cookie settings I can accept for the time being. Now here, by default, you can see different distribution windows, Mac OS, Linux. I need the windows. And if I click over here, by default, this ultimate edition would be downloaded, which I don't want. So what we need to do, we need to click on this particular link, other versions. Now in future, this website UI may change and this link may change also, but you have to look for the other versions in case you want some custom versions. I'm clicking over here under other versions on the left hand side, we have IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate and here we have this community edition and I want to change this distributions. These are the latest ones. I want something little bit older, maybe 24.2 and accordingly this files get changed and I want to use the zip file. I don't want the installer. If you want the installer, you can select this one and install. In my case, I'm specifically using this zip file for this lesson. Let me click the download started. Once it is complete, I'll resume the recording. Download is completed. Click on show in folder. This is the file. Now I want to extract this file at a particular location inside a particular directory. So I'm going over there. This is the folder. Pasting the file over here. Right click. 7-zip. Extract to this particular folder. Don't click on extract here. Then all the folders would be extracted in this directory. We want this directory to appear. So clicking on this. Extraction is in progress. Extraction complete. Let me go inside this particular folder. Going inside the bin. This is the exe. Right click. Send to desktop. Let me go to desktop. Now, this is my shortcut. So our IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition from zip version is installed. But, but whether it is functional or not, whether it works in a proper way or not, I just want to validate that. Let me click on this. It's opening IntelliJ IDEA Community 2024.2. Click on Confirm, Continue. I'm clicking Don't Send. I don't want to share the statistics for now. Click on New Project. I'm providing the name of the project. And instead of this default location, I want all the IntelliJ IDEA projects in future to be present in a single directory. So I'm clicking on this button to browse. Under C drive, I'm going to create a new folder, all underscore IntelliJ underscore projects. Clicking on OK and I will click OK here as well. Now, if you see, this is my location. Clicking on Maven, I have JDK 17 installed in my system. That's why it has picked up this. Add sample code, I'm keeping it as is. Under advanced version, the group ID and artifact ID, I'm keeping them as is. Click on create. It's setting up the project, updating the indexes. Maximize this. Right now, it is scanning the files to index. Now, initially, this indexing would take a while. I'm pausing the recording. Once it is complete, I'll resume. Since the indexing is complete, I can just click on this particular buttons to execute the program. Run main. It is doing the build. We can see over here in the console, the program has executed successfully. So to summarize, we have installed IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition from the zip file. And just to check the functionality, we have created a dummy Maven-based Java project and run it successfully.